This is the newest version of the Trucker's Trip Planning app's hours of service and ETA calculator, which was designed for company drivers and dispatchers, but it is also useful for the owner-operator since it can be used without Wi-Fi in areas of limited or no internet services. So we'll go ahead and turn off the Wi-Fi so you can see how it works. Okay, using this app is pretty simple. Um, the first thing you wanna do is go ahead and click on reset and plan a new load. Okay, and then you wanna select your hours of service uh, preference. And as you can see, uh, this app uh, supports the following um, hours of service rules. Uh, US property, uh, 70, uh, 70 hour, eight day, the 60 hour, seven day, the passenger 70 hour eight day and 60 hour seven day the alaska property 70 uh by seven the um alaska property 80 by eight alaska passenger 70 by seven alaska passenger 80 by eight the california interstate property 80 80 by eight day the california uh passenger 80 by eight day the texas interstate 70 by seven the Canadian South 70 by 7 cycle 1 and the European Union uh, basic hours of service and the Australian standard. So for this demonstration, we're going to go ahead and we're going to use the uh, U.S. property 70 by 8. So we go ahead and select that and we click done and we'll get a message uh, to make sure that uh, we did, in fact, change our hours of service preference because that's going to... Um, tell the app uh, which hours of service table to pull up. So we go ahead and click yes. And as you can see, it pulls up the US property, um, 70 hour, eight day uh, hours of service recap. So what we wanna do is go ahead and enter the data from our eight days log. And in this case, we're gonna go ahead and put that in there. And we're gonna go with eight hours on day seven. We're gonna go with 10 minutes. And day six, we're gonna go ahead and go with seven hours. And we'll go ahead and put in six minutes. Uh, day five, we'll go ahead and put in six hours. And 43 minutes. Okay. And then we'll go ahead down to day two and we'll put in eight hours and 15 minutes. And on day one, seven hours, and we'll go ahead and use 13 minutes. Okay, so as you can see, the, uh, the hours of service was properly calculated, but what we wanna do is go ahead and do a restart and we're gonna do that restart on day four. So all we need to do is go over here uh, to this table and select the number one. And what that does, it tells the app that you did a restart on that particular day. All right, so once we do that, we wanna go ahead and go to the dispatch. And we wanna go ahead and put in our load ID. And in this case, we're gonna say our load ID was TA one two three four five and then we want to go ahead and put in our trailer number and in this case we'll use xt seven six five one two three okay and then we want to put in our half hour fuel stops and if you don't know um what your uh, uh how to calculate how many stops you'll need then uh we've included an, an example of how to do the formula and basically all that is, is, is to uh, determine what your um, total distance is and divide it by the max ca capacity of your truck, uh, your, fuel, your fuel tanks, and then divide that by your average miles or kilometers per gallon. And it'll tell you uh, basically uh, how many um, fuel stops you're gonna need. Okay, so in this case, we're gonna go ahead and choose one. And for our load and unloads, we're gonna go ahead and put in 0.5 for a drop and hook. 
and then we're going to put in our distance to our pickup and we're going to use 150 miles and then we're going to put in the date of our uh, pickup appointment and in this case we'll go ahead and use the 21st and we're going to pick up at 9 o'clock in the morning a.m. all right and then we'll put in the distance to our destination and we're going to say that we're going to travel 1200 total miles or kilometers um, to our destination okay and then um, we're going to be traveling east so we'll go ahead and select east and we're going to cross one time zone and the reason we're doing this is because the calculator is going to go ahead and um, because we're going east, it's going to go ahead and add an hour to our uh, total hours uh, required in order to um, compensate for the fact that we crossed the time zone. Okay, so the next thing we want to do is go ahead and click on view your time requirements. And it's going to ask you, uh, did you update whether you are traveling east or west and the number of time zones crossed? This would be added or subtracted from the total hours required for the load. And we did do that. And then we come to our uh, time requirements page. And as you can see, uh, the app tells us uh, the drive hours required, how many pre-trips we'll need, fuel stop hours, uh, load or boarding hours if you're uh, using this app as maybe a bus driver, uh, post-trip hours, um, the total hours of service required. And it'll add in the, uh, the fact uh, that we need to take half-hour breaks uh, and 10-hour breaks and as you can see, it added one hour per uh, time zone that was crossed. And then it's going to give us the time that we need to start in order to reach our pickup on time. It's going to give us the ETA to our destination, and it's going to give us the next available time. Now, uh, we can actually uh, go from here and go straight to our trip planner. And we can actually go ahead and plan out our uh work and rest uh, hours but we won't do this in in this video um, because we'll cover this because it's pretty extensive so we'll go ahead and cover that in another video so basically what we'll do is we'll go back and um, in this this message here pretty much is a reminder that you know we want you to go ahead and submit your reviews and we need positive reviews you know because uh, negative reviews uh, reviews that are totally false it doesn't help us, you know, to build uh, this tool uh, for um, for all truckers to use. So if, if you can provide us with comments that will really help other truckers or help us to actually develop the app so that it has all the necessary uh, tools that you need to have in the app, then we would greatly appreciate that. And uh, of course, we will always appreciate positive reviews. Uh, so basically, we just put that message in there as a reminder to help us out. And once we come back to the uh, home page, um, if at any time we needed to um, review our um, current load, uh, say, for instance, if we're at, at the shipper or something and we just want to get pull out the details or something on a load or we want to, you know, um, you know, discuss it with our dispatcher or whatever, then the only thing we need to do to go back to that load, even if if you've already closed the app. Uh, you could just simply uh, reopen the app and click on review your current load. And the last load that you actually did will still be in place. And uh, I'll just scroll through so you can see that it's all still there. Okay, and once we do that, um, we'll just go ahead and click done. And that pretty much um, is how the app is used. And again, um, if you, you know, if you're not using, you know, the 70 by 8 U.S. hours of service, then, you know, pretty much um, if you needed to uh, to do a load, just remember to select your hours of service from the drop down list. And that concludes our video. Thank you and be safe.